What is going on New York Giants fans? Welcome to another video from Hit Squad Productions. In this video, we got a little bit of a roster update. We got some news to bring to you guys. Um, this is actually coming off of Tom Pelissero. This is where I got this from. And that is the New York Giants signing defensive end Ifedi Udedebo. I really hope I pronounced that right. Probably butchered it. But, um, you know, we've seen the Giants in the last couple of days making little signings that, you know, when you really look at it, they're players that have high upsides, unproven players at the moment outside of Casey Kreider. Um, but when you really look at it, players like John Ross, you know, cost effective, low risk, high reward. And to me, that's really what I see here. And, you know, they signed him to a one-year deal worth $2.5 million. He's 6'3", 258 pounds, 26 years old. He played college at Northwestern, and he was drafted by the Minnesota Vikings in the seventh round in the 2017 NFL Draft. Now, he did have one year with the Arizona Cardinals. He only played one game for them, but he did come back to the Minnesota Vikings again in 2019, where he started. And... To me, when I see him, now I gotta be honest with you, prior to us signing him, didn't really know much about the guy, I'm not gonna act like I did, I really didn't, but I went back, I watched some stuff, and looking at him, I do think that there are some positives to take away from him, there's some things that he has to work on, of course, but there's a lot of positives that you can take away from him. Now, he did have 35 tackles, three and a half sacks, and three tackles for loss in just 15 games this past season with the Minnesota Vikings. And in 2019, he had 23 tackles, seven sacks, seven tackles for loss in all 16 games. Now, with him having 10 and a half combined sacks over the last two years, he also paired that with 28 quarterback hits. So, one thing I will say is that it's nice to have another player on this roster that has double digit sacks outside of Leonard Williams. Now, when you look at him as a player, he has some nice speed to him. He plays aggressive, and I think when you have a defensive coordinator like Patrick Graham, who knows how to use his players in a variety of different ways, to me, I'm excited to see how he uses them. You know, I'd imagine that he competes for the weak side linebacker position, which honestly, we do need help in that position, let's be honest. But in my opinion, I think that he'd be a solid rotational Pete with some high upside. Like I said, low risk, high reward. Now one stat that I found which I thought was very interesting was that he had a higher double team rate and a higher pass rush rate than both Cam Jordan and Zadarius Smith in 2020. Now when you look at the Minnesota Vikings defensive line, they had a pretty bad defensive line last year. You know, they lost some players, but even with that, he was still able to be productive. And, you know, he was pretty solid for Minnesota. Now, even with him being productive, obviously, well, <laughs> at least to me, you know, with them signing Dalvin Tomlinson, they weren't going to bring him back. And, you know, the Giants have been, again, signing players, you know, that could really make an impact on this roster on cost-effective deals, prove-it deals, and, and, you know, if he does come in and fulfill what we need him to fulfill, if not at least exceed expectations, you know, I could see the Giants really bringing him back. You know, I know that we wanted to go out and get players like Hassan Reddick or a Kyle Van Noy, but this is a player that I, I'm actually really excited for. Um, you know, I'm not going to really go out there and say that he's going to be our number one starter, but again, as a nice rotational piece for some depth, I think it's solid. You know, I really do. I would expect the Giants, if they do get Kenny Galladay, you know, to either look at the tight end position or if a player like Rashawn, uh, Rashawn Slater or Micah Parsons is there, you know, it really does make that position at 11 a difference maker because you could go a multitude of different ways. So overall, I like it. I really do. I think that, again, it's a player, high upside. We could really use him in a variety of different ways, but obviously we need help at the defensive end position. Again, expect the Giants to add some more pieces. Hopefully we can lock down Kenny Galladay, bring him home. We're hearing great things. I'm <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't express to you guys how, how I'm going to be, honestly, <laughs> if the New York Giants sign Kenny Galladay. But let us know your thoughts below. How are you guys feeling about this signing? You know, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Leave a like below. Follow us on Twitter. The link will be in the description. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next video.